Hello, Taurus, and welcome to <clears throat> Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Colleen, and I'm a Taurus Sun and Venus. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me, let me take a drink of my coffee here. All right, Taurus, let's see what we have for today. If you are interested in a personal reading, I am available for personal readings at this time. The link is in the description box below, and you can click on that link and book your reading. Let's see what we have. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy, please? Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy? Show us clearly. Divine Source Creator, show us clearly. Ooh, okay. Not these, but this one. <clears throat> Ooh, I love this. The Violet Flame. Wow. Um, big change, Taurus. Let me just tell you that right off the bat. Big, 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 big change coming. Um, the Violet Flame is... Is really... Um, coming out of the darkness okay we all have a dark night of the soul and usually sometimes we have more than one M most of the time it's just one but i feel like a lot of you are coming out of some dark times whether that be emotionally financially spiritually it's going to be different for all of you um but i feel like now you're coming out of it right some of you it's heavier right it's that truly heavy dark night of the soul some of you again it's i wouldn't say smaller but just an issue in your life that has been troublesome right i love i love this because the dark night of the soul or even a financial struggle or an emotional struggle is really um a process of purification it's there to help us see things in a different way a different light okay hence the flame um, but this is providing you with a, a, a way through this right a way out of this darkness whatever this is for you um, and the challenges and the pain that this you've had to go through to get to the other side you will appreciate okay i know that sounds crazy but you will you are going to appreciate but you're going to see new opportunities you're going to see clearly now you're going to uh have improvements in your life in whatever area this is for you um this is no longer holding back either like you're no longer holding yourself back from anything um you're definitely being given clarity and you're going to be how do you want me to say that spirit you're going to see the right people come in and that is kind of funny and, and uh, when i went through my really really big dark night of the soul uh, for me it was in my younger years teenage early 20s um it was amazing to me that once I hit the light, the, how many of the right people at that time came into my life. So again, the right people are going to start coming into your life, helping you, giving you opportunities, clearing up the finances, clearing up the emotional, clearing up the you know relationship that didn't end well, um, whatever this is, okay? You're going to see the right people start coming in. And it's going to kind of seem out of nowhere. <laughs> right it's gonna it's gonna be a little surprising Taurus but I love this because um it's like we're all looking for a way out of something right of something and you're gonna get clarity on it I love this Taurus I do all right let's see what we have in the tarot angels guides ancestors show us clearly for Taurus what is the message here what is the message show us for Taurus if you guys haven't checked out my uh, first channel because this channel is only a couple months old now uh, Lotus Spirit Tarot for your other placements like if you're an Aries Sun or you know a Capricorn Moon go check that out Lotus Spirit Tarot 
let's see, because I always check out all my placements. Um, I told you already I'm a Taurus Sun and Venus, but I'm also a Pisces Moon and Rising, so I'm always looking at those. Especially your rising sign. If you are, are not a Taurus rising, which I love it if you are, uh, go check out your rising sign over at that channel, okay? Lots of good information over there. What do we have for Taurus here? Show us clearly for Taurus. Show us clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? And some of you Tauruses are members uh, or subscribers, members, subscribers of the Los Spirit Tarot. So let them know how great that is. Yeah, something's been stuck for a while. Look at, I've been doing this for, there we go, for a minute. So something's going to get unstuck for you. Uh, gotta love the Ace of Talismans. That's the Ace of Pentacles, okay? Ace of Pentacles, new beginning, new opportunity, new uh, solution okay to something existing that has been challenging okay we love that and it came out with the high priestess so the these are uh the high priestess is that intuition secrets to success is what i call her a lot like i i can't figure out where i'm supposed to go how i'm supposed to get through this you know darkness so what do i do well here your higher self the universe comes in and gives you the answer Okay, they really do. A lot of times these answers, just so that you know, Taurus, come through sleep, dreaming at night, daydreaming, meditation. Now, I know a lot of you are practicing meditation. Some of you aren't and should be. But I want to be very clear on this because it gets mixed up a lot. Meditation isn't always sitting in lotus position, right? It's not always that. Um, I go to the gym for meditation because when I'm doing it, when it's, it's not for health, as you would think. A lot of people go to the gym for health. I don't. I go to get away. I go for meditation. So I get on like the Stairmaster and I put my headphones on and I listen to affirmations, right? But at the same time, I'm in a meditative state. So clarity comes in through that. I often joke around, but I'm very serious about Taurus too, is I still do my dishes by hand. And when I do that, I'm gazing out, right? I'm gazing out the window, I'm gazing, I'm not paying attention. Uh, the dishes I'm doing, it's all muscle memory, right? So I'm not really concentrating on that. And it may only take five minutes, but that's a five minute meditation. So, again, make sure that you are meditating in whatever form that is for you. And I'm telling you, answers come through that way, along with the dreams, along with, uh, you know, the daydreams and the night dreams. So I'm loving this. Show me clearly, please. What is the message? Yeah, I just feel like this is out of the darkness. We're coming out of the darkness here. Show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus? Thank you. All right, Taurus. What is this? Um, look at That's the Ace of Cups. Two aces. Talk about a new beginning. Talk about the light. Talk about the opportunities coming in. Talk about the joy that you will feel, right? We are always trying to be in a state of bliss and happiness and joy and love. I get that. We are. But that doesn't mean there isn't challenges in our lives. <laughs> Again, whether it's emotional, romantic, financial, dark night of the soul, right? There's usually something going on that isn't totally perfect, right? And that's okay. Because again, the new opportunity, the new beginning is coming. This is a creative way out of the darkness. This is through love. And it's very tangible, right? And with that, I love it, Taurus, and don't we love this, we have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is one of my favorite cards, not just because it's wealth, but it is a legacy card, so it encompasses not just the wealth of material things, but the wealth of family, the wealth of generations, right? Being around you, whether that's blood family or soul family, right? 
it's quite beautiful here. This is what, you know, we're all after, right, Taurus? I mean, tell me. I, I know I'm after the Ten of Pentacles, aren't you? Of course they are. We're Taurus. I just lost my camera. Sorry. So we're coming to it, okay? We're coming to that. Sorry, guys. I lost my camera for a second. All right. Let's see what we have here. Show me clearly. Whoa. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Yes. We love this. Look, you have the universe here. Okay. I love that it's the universe card. I love that instead of it, you know, being the world card, it's the universe. This is not just an end to some chapter in your life. This is the end of the old way of being. I'm going to show up in the universe. I am part of the universe. I can create like the universe, right? I mean, this is big. This is a big ending of some sort of challenge that has been in your life. And I think you just have to accept it and go, yes. So there is light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. I'm trying to make sure that you guys can see the card well enough, right? <laughs> so honestly, Taurus, this is big change. Big, big change. I don't know what. You can put it in the comments. You don't have to. You don't have to share. But it, there is. this is big for a lot of you. This is a big thing, a big darkness that you've been in. Well, considering the time frame here where we had Pluto uh, in Capricorn for the last 15 years, which was extremely challenging, and now it's in Aquarius for the next 20 years, which is more open, more truth, more innovation, this really doesn't surprise me as much as you would think it would. This is really, really a big reading. It's a deep reading, which is great. I love that. Um, because what else we had here is, I don't know if you can see this, Magnum Opus, which is an extra card in this tarot deck. And this talks about, um, it, it's, it's magic, it's transmutation. It's about creating through speaking, right? Your words are spells. It's about the world around you changes as you please because you speak it into existence, right? This holds all the elements. It's like the magician, right? You can see there, it's got all the elements, fire, water, air, earth. And magnum opus is a term known as the great work. So you've done the great work, right? You now can hold the elixir of life. This is just big, okay? This is just really, really big for us. Um, it does talk about that personal and spiritual transmutation our soul experiences towards enlightenment right whenever we're in that dark night of the soul or again a challenging situation um this brings us to enlightenment and that doesn't have to be for all of you the big dark night of the soul that can again be um, a self-love a romantic situation that didn't work out um, a financial situation but it's all about to change right because you're freeing your mind from limitations. You're connecting to source. It, it, it is a reminder here, right, for you all, that we have the ability to alter our reality based on our thoughts, based on our words, based on our actions. So you are really coming out of something really, really maybe heavy, but you're coming out of it and you're going to be so enlightened to the situation. I mean, it's quite amazing. And stepping into uh, your power, stepping into the power that Taurus has, but doubts. Don't doubt your power, okay? Don't doubt your power here, Taurus. Show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus? What is the message for Taurus? Yeah, see, the sun wants to come out. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that. Just as we were talking, mountains represent challenges, right? So just as we're talking about this, it's like it says, you are on the road to success. You will successfully overcome this, see a different way. You have psychic ability. Trust your intuition. High priestess. Trust in your abilities here to create and be that spellcaster. That's awesome. 
That is absolutely amazing. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. I told you the right people were going to come in. We said that, you know, towards the beginning of this, right? And I was surprised at the people that came into my life. Look at this. Good advice from a wise person. That wise person can be you, okay? I just want to make sure you're clear of that. So don't be looking for this person to, you know, come and, I don't know, fix everything, right? But the right people are going to come in now. This is totally and utterly one of my favorite re um, readings, right? Bottom of the deck, time to go out and have fun. Where there was darkness, there is now lightness. There is enlightenment, and you just need to step into your power here. Okay, Taurus, you really, really do. Now is the time. So with that being said, don't forget to like, share, comment. I read each and every one. Book your personal reading. Join our Taurus Inspiration membership. If I didn't mention that, uh, you should. And with that being said, Taurus, all of my love, light, and blessings to you until next time.